You're so clean now, Cynthia. This is how soaking wet I end up after giving Jack a bath. Like, <laughs> that's why I wear like pants that I don't care about. Look at this big old spot right here. Look, because he's crazy. Cynthia, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Do you know that you're crazy? Cynthia, do you know that you're crazy? Your hair is all in your eyes and you won't let me get it out? Because why? Because you're crazy. What is it? What? What is it? What? Why are you looking at me like that? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You wanna go? You wanna go? Before I let you go, are you done shaking? Is that a yes? Is that a yes or a no? Okay, let's go. Come on. All right. So, I don't know if you saw my post on Instagram, but there's this car that my job is selling, and they were raffling off the option to buy. My name came up in the raffle. So, I want to see if I like the car, the way it drives, and all that stuff because it's in Jersey. So I'm going to go uh, test drive one right now. And it's kind of rainy and gross. So that will really let me know how the car will perform. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of apprehensive. It sort of looked like a mom car. But it's sort of cute too. But I, I need to see it in person to know for sure. I'm headed into work today. I filmed my Valentine's Day tutorial this morning. And um, that's what's on my face right now. But one thing is that when I was getting ready to go you know walk Jackson and stuff the trash men were out and I pretty much see that this is gonna be a problem every single Tuesday oh my jaw is killing me um, this is gonna be a problem every Tuesday because Jackson decided he just goes crazy when those trucks are anywhere near around or if there's anyone near the house or anything like that so it literally took me 10 minutes to get him to stop barking and jumping and going crazy and you know oh god it was so annoying so i mean he has me running late i woke up at 6 30 this morning i was done filming by 7 30. there's no reason that i should be running late today. valentine's day bake sale that i'm doing for the united way for my job tomorrow um, I'm really excited because I'm trying to bring like some new and fresh ideas now that I'm a new co-chair and I'm hoping that people are going to respond to this well, you know, if, if even just to say, hey, you know, I appreciate you guys trying hard to bring something new since we've been saying that we wanted some new ideas. So, um, I have to make the cake pops and straighten my hair because, um, I don't like to be around food with big hair and, um, I don't want to have to put on a hair net or anything like that. So, I'm just going to straighten my hair and wear it in a ponytail tomorrow. Um, but even with my hair like this, like curls, little curls fall out and can make their way out all the time. I need to make some cake pops for, well, I already told you guys what I'm making cake pops for, but I'm trying to, like, figure out what i have to do so i'm gonna put this thingy underneath of here because it says that it gets so hot that i don't want it to burn my freaking house down all the cake is mixed before it's preheated so i just put my cake in there i'm gonna mix it and then i'm gonna turn the thing on to preheat it um but what i got was a cake pop maker it's by baby cakes and this is actually $30, but I had a 40% off coupon to Michael's, so I got it for the win. Super cheap, and it makes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, twelve at a time. So that's pretty sick. So we're gonna do trial and error. My thing isn't until Valentine's Day and today's Tuesday, so I want to make sure that this goes well. So I'm gonna try it out first today and watch a couple YouTube videos while I'm making it, and we'll see how this goes. All the cake is mixed before it's preheated. So I just put my cake in there. I'm gonna mix it and then I'm gonna turn the thing on to preheat it. Um, but what I got was a cake pop maker. It's by Baby Cakes. 
And this is actually $30, but I had a 40% off coupon to Michael's, so I got it for the win. Super cheap, and it makes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 12 at a time. So that's pretty sick. So we're going to do trial and error. My thing isn't until Valentine's Day, and today's Tuesday, so I want to make sure that this goes well. So I'm going to try it out first today and watch a couple YouTube videos while I'm making it, and we'll see how this goes. letting this heat up watching a little bit of a uh, beauty crush she has a haul I love watching hauls so while I let this heat up it's supposed to get a tablespoon of batter in each of those little holes so let's see how this goes <laughs> I'm kind of scared I'm not gonna lie I'm not even gonna lie They are in there and it's so crazy as I was putting them in the first couple of ones I could tell that they were starting to bake already like that thing is really really hot so I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out um, they're pretty easy to pop out which is a plus Oops. these are just the cutest little things they didn't really bake into as perfect. Huh? Time to go to bed. Oh, you about to go to bed? Uh -huh. Yeah, me too. I'm tired. Are you tired? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's late. Who is that? Marley? Whining? Uh -huh. Do you and Marley have a lot of fun? Uh -huh. I just left work. I went to where did I just go? Oh, Walgreens, and I returned that Iman BB cream. Yes, I hated it. I tried it a second time, and it didn't work for me. I have two more BB creams that I want to try out to see if either one of them will work for me. One is the Tarte, and then the other one is the um, Smashbox. So those are both a little bit more expensive, but I'm thinking they might be good, especially because everybody keeps saying that Tarts is such full, good full coverage. Will this dude speed up? Um, so the fact that it is full coverage makes me want to actually try it because um, if I'm going to spend all that money on a BB cream, I'm not putting anything else on top of my face, like period. Like that needs to do it. If not, then I'll just wear a foundation. I mean, the price of Tarte and Smashbox foundation is essentially what I pay for my naked skin foundation. So, or what the price of their BB creams is the same price as the naked skin foundation. So I just don't really feel like I can justify spending that on something that I'm going to wear every day. And the Duke Carolina game is tonight and I would like to actually go to a bar or something and watch that, but it's not going to happen. Like I, I'm not going to be able to do it. So I have to just turn it up really loud or I don't know how I'm going to watch it. I, don't, I have no idea how I'm going to watch it and dunk all that stuff. So my hope is to go on ahead and get all of my cake pops dunked and decorated into whatever I want to decorate them into so that I can watch the Duke and Carolina game without being interrupted. Okay, that's the goal. Um, drinking a mean green this morning. Mm -hmm. Had to put an apple and a banana in there to give it a little bit more kick. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I have going on today. Oh my gosh, this truck just kicked a rock back at my windshield. I actually love these things. I live for a juice. I'm sure you guys can't really see, but Jackson, get down. But I finished all my cake pops. Don't they look really good? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm now going to be like the cake pop making queen. Because although they took forever and it was really grueling, the payoff is really, really worth it. And I love them. And um, I was going to put them inside of a cake thingy, but they're so big, like they're so round. And there's so many of them that they won't fit, like the lid won't fit on, so I just covered them up. So now I'm going to walk this crazy pup. Jackson, outside? Happy Valentine's Day! I almost forgot to tell you guys that. Um, 
it's a gorgeous day here it's sunny but it's cold but at least it's sunny come on jack sit and um i have my valentine's day bake sale today with my job so i'm really really excited about that um but let me walk this dog and then i'll talk to you guys in the car Turned up today like i can pretty much turn up every day but it's where it's rare that i wake up turned up like like I know I walk in and I turn up, but I woke up and I turn up. Like, like I was in such a good mood this morning, and I don't know why. Maybe because it's Valentine's Day, and that puts me in a good mood because I'm no, I know that I'm loved by, you know, not just a man. Like, you know, that's that's not what validates me. Um, but I feel like I'm loved by my family. I'm loved by my friends. I'm loved by my coworkers and my job. You know, I'm appreciated. And I just feel really good today. So I'm feeling myself. So excuse me if I exude this this aura of happiness, but I really am like so, so, so happy today. But I'm sure you guys can't see me because for once it is a sunny day and um, the sun is probably just completely blinding me. But I'm currently driving with one hand because the other hand is holding these cake pops because if something happens to these cake pops it probably took me um about like seven hours total to make i made about like 40 i don't know like 48 of them so if anything happens to these i'd have to kill everybody on this highway like everybody gotta go everybody gotta go so um i'm really attempting to avoid that but like I said, today is my um, Valentine's Day bake sale at my job, and I am the chair of our United Way uh, segment. And you guys know I'm really big on giving back. And, you know, I don't have much to give, but of my little bit, I'm going to give something. Um, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I came up a little less fortunate. And not saying that I grew up in the hood, because I didn't, so I'm not going to rep a hood that I didn't really grow up in. But my mom was a single mom with three kids, like did it all by herself on a one person salary. And, you know, we didn't know that we wanted for anything if we did. Like if there was anything that we needed, we wouldn't know because she was just so good at handling her business. Like my mom, you know, is someone I definitely admire. This guy cut me off. Okay. Um, but anyway, so I feel like. I didn't have everything. I, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. And there are a lot of people who have and have this sense of entitlement and like the world owes them something. No, boo boo, that's not how this works. The world doesn't owe you something. You owe the world. Like, it's, you are put on this earth to do something for someone else. It's not all about you. You know what I mean? Anyway, don't get me on my soapbox today because it is so easy to put me there. Um, <laughs> But there was a really bad accident. Hold on, let me say a prayer. Okay, again, I would hope that if someone saw me in an accident, they would send up prayers for me. So I just kind of do what I would want somebody to do for me. But anyway, I, that, that sense of entitlement, like you owe me chip on my shoulder, like no, have several. Like you need to have several. I can't stand people like No matter where you are, trust me, there's someone with less than you. Um, you should try to give back. Not necessarily monetarily, you can donate your time. Time is one of the most valuable, precious things that we have. And when you donate your time to giving back and community service and philanthropy and things like that, it, it speaks volumes about your character. And if you don't, it's, that speaks even louder, in my opinion. Um, I will see you guys later. I'll try to film a little bit of the bake sale or at least maybe the setup. I don't really want to film people because it's my job. But I'll show you guys how I set up if there's a way to do that. So if there isn't, don't don't charge my um, heart for it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day because by the time you see this, Valentine's Day would have come and gone. Today was a good day. So happy Valentine's Day, ladies and gents. I'm going to take a quick nap before um, I continue on with the rest of my night because I won't even make it to 8 o'clock if I don't get at least like a 30 minute nap. Like I mean like a quick cat nap. Cat, what is it? Cat nap. God, this road is so bumpy and I can't even speak. Whatever, I'm going to stop trying to talk now. But 
yeah, if I don't get some sleep, I don't, I don't really stand a chance for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna get my life. This road is a hot ghetto mess. Com. Like it's throwing my car everywhere. I hit a pothole or something like that every five seconds. See. morning my loves i am almost at work again today i'm drinking a uh, green juice it's about all the way up to here i'm gonna drink the whole thing because that's gonna be my whole breakfast um i don't i didn't feel like making anything else for breakfast so that's pretty much this is gonna get me through hopefully um mm. I love it. Oh, on my lips is this new Painted Earth lipstick that um, I received from the company. Uh, they are an all-natural brand, or in a, most of their stuff is like natural, organic, paraben-free, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they're definitely going to be a brand that I feature. I love their stuff. I've been using their skincare. It's amazeballs. I don't know if you guys have noticed how nice my skin has been looking lately. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, testify that to Painted Earth because my skin has never been this pretty. I can't wait to to film um, a current skincare routine video so that you guys can see how much I am uh, loving life right now with clear skin. My tip to Germany is no longer in March. It is now in April. Uh, we had to switch some things around. Somebody had a baby, all that good stuff. So, I mean, it's a good reason to have to switch around your trip. And it gives me a little bit more time to plan because literally I would have had no time to get ready. Uh, I'd like to even, I didn't even really have that much time to wrap my head around it. I was just like, oh God, what am I gonna pack? We gone for 10 days. Etc. 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 So, um, oh, I got a really bad headache right now. I think because I, I don't know, what time did I get to sleep? I missed Scandal last night. I was not, I don't know, I just didn't feel like, I didn't really find a reason to watch TV. So, I, wa I missed Scandal and I'm just going to put it, uh, it's on my DVR, so I'll just watch it t today or tomorrow or something. Um, but that is got off of work. Headed to run a couple of errands. It is Friday. Um, I could not be happier. It's bright and sunny outside. It's like 60 some degrees, and I'm geeked right now. Just turned, just turned up. Happy to be off work. I'm just happy to be here, ladies and gents. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm getting ready to run a couple of. There's pretty much um, never a moment where I have absolutely nothing to do because. I feel like idle, idle time just isn't good. Like they say an idle mind is the devil's workplace or whatever. And I won't necessarily say that when I have nothing to do that the devil will come and get me in some trouble. But I mean, it's just, it's just wasted energy. Like you shouldn't, what is going on with my chin? Is that a pimple coming in? Mother. Anyway, so you shouldn't just waste your time. Like time is really precious and a lot of people don't get it. So. Um, I think I'm probably going to stop doing these car vlogs because my car is shaking so much.